Shut up. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. So if you can or cannot tell, there's something weird and interesting about this video other than the fact that I'm not going to eat like myself. I am going to eat like Amber Shoal for 24 hours, which I'm really, really super excited about. But on a side note, if you hear any weird rustling back here, it is Jordan. He was laying on the couch and I wanted to film my intro right this second, right now. He did not want to get off the couch, so... We let him stay on the couch, but we covered him up a little bit, but it is what it is. So as I said before, and as you can see in the title of this video, we are going to eat like Amber Shoal for 24 hours, which I'm really excited about because Amber is probably one of my favorite YouTubers. I have so many favorite YouTubers, but Amber is someone that I never really miss a video. I watch her every time she posts. The advantages of eating like Amber for 24 hours. I apologize for my really low quality green screen mock-up of this presentation that I just tried to make really, really, really extra for absolutely no reason. And there's still watermarks on it because I wasn't paying $27 for one picture <laughs> of a mock-up that is in the video for mm, 10 seconds. So enjoy the rest is that she is a vegetarian so i follow the exact same diet as her although she eats a lot differently than i do um considering she eats a lot of candy and i really don't eat that much candy but honestly i think she might just be an elf <laughs> i always thought i was part elf but she like totally outshines me in that department so the only challenges of this is that she literally eats out for every single meal i know she mentions in a lot of her videos that she does not know how to cook she doesn't cook she does have so many like diy trying to cooking videos but she doesn't and actually bake the cake she'll go and buy the cakes and then just decorate it which she's good at which is amazing i'm not someone who's like such an amazing chef but i definitely cook the things that i like and i definitely do a good job at it so we're gonna go out for one of the meals we're not gonna go out for all the meals because we are bowling on a budget hello class of broke bitch university i'm amber your professor and today we're going to be discussing budgeting so without any further ado here we go eating like amber Shoal for 24 hours <laughs> So, in the spirit of Amber Shoal, I feel like we have to do an outfit of the day, and I, that's just a given. You have to do an outfit of the day, even though I'm technically just eating like her. I feel like I kind of had to dress like her, and I feel like I did a bad job because I really don't want anything glittery, so I had to borrow this <laughs> cute little glittery purse from my mom's closet that most likely Paris Hilton would be wearing when I was in seventh grade, so we're just going to go with it. Amber, but make it... Bianca. So I definitely took my own little rendition on this and made sure I had black and net and really like cute high collars. I know sometimes she wears high collars but other times she wears like low neck because she has cute big boobs and I don't so we can't do that here. But what we can do is have this little like army brat skirt and I just added a body chain to it. I wish the body chain was gold but it is silver and just to give it kind of like an extra little but I feel like a lot of the skirts she wears are super short, so this was kind of like my shortest pick at what I have right now. But yeah, so that's the top, that's the bottom, that's the whole, and then the shoes. I feel like without the shoes, the outfit's like meh, but the way Amber with all of her heels all the time makes it a look. <laughs> I know often she changes into her little Chanel sneakers, but I don't have little Chanel sneakers. So we're doing the heels right now, and maybe we'll switch into sandals when we go somewhere, but... <sighs> that is up to debate. So here we are, super close again. Yeah, speaking about up close, we also want to do an up close of my bling. So, because Amber wears her rings all the time, but although my rings are not as blingy, look at this watch. Hello. Oh, you see my face in it. How cute. Just an overview of the watch. The brand is called Yod, and it is spelled J-O-R-D, which is so fun to me because for all you guys who know me, Jordan is my boyfriend and his nickname is George J-O-R-D. Even though the watch is pronounced Yod on the face of the watch, it says J-O-R-D. So I think that's so cool that I kind of have my boyfriend's nickname on my watch. <laughs> this one is the Cassia Ebony and Gold one and it's so pretty. I love all their watches. They're like super high quality and they're all made out of wood and raw materials, which is really nice and fun for someone who appreciates nature. But what's even more fun is that Yod is having a giveaway right now. And if you guys enter the contest link down below, you can receive $100 off of a watch if you are the contest winner. Hint, hint, everyone's kind of a winner because regardless of if you win, you still get 10% off. So you should enter anyway and bet your luck. And maybe you could get a pretty little watch like mine and you could dress it all up and pretend you're Amber Shoal too. <laughs> and with all that information, I'm hungry. In the words of Amber, onward ho. 
So I decided to eat at this Hawaiian styled cafe because I feel like she lives in LA and I don't know, it's tropical and I feel like this is the kind of food that she would eat for breakfast because I've definitely seen eggs and really yummy plates of breakfast in her Instagram stories before. Although I feel like she would have preferred the waffle with strawberries and whipped cream, I particularly wanted a little more protein this morning because I did walk over a mile to get here in 90 degree weather at eight in the morning. So we have eggs florentine with spinach, mushrooms, a lot of other veggies, an orange, well, an arch slice and potatoes. Okay, hi. It's way past breakfast time. I'm so hungry for some reason, but I'm gonna kind of curb myself because it's still not really lunchtime yet. And I feel like I didn't eat that long ago, even though I ate like four hours ago. Yikes. She wakes up so early. Amber literally wakes up at the crack of dawn every day and sees the sunrise, so that's what I did today too. Here's proof. <laughs> Before I go in the pool, I wanna like have a good drink. So she drinks matcha like literally every single day. And I had maybe 50 million matcha lattes. It so happens to be my favorite drink too. So we're gonna make some matcha. I use this one, it's matcha green tea latte mix. Amber like gets hers from Starbucks or from Earth Cafe. Yes, I did a lot of research on this video. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so I left the recipe card on for this entire portion of the video, but to make the matcha that I make, I do equal parts of sugar and equal parts of matcha mix. I use sugar in the raw, but honestly, you can use any sugar that you want. Mix it all up and dissolve it with one fourth of whatever mug I'm using of hot water. So I don't do half a cup, I do one fourth because I like it more creamy. But if you want it less creamy, you could just add more water. And then I add <laughs> oat milk, but you can use any non-dairy milk or milk of your choice. Um, almond milk works good with it, but it does make it less creamy and more watery. So oat milk or cashew milk or something like that would work a lot better. And mix, mix until it's dissolved and then just drink it. And I drank it hot, but if you guys want to drink it ice, just pour it right over ice. <laughs> Why would you make a hot drink? It's 90 degrees out. Because I wanted a warm, toasty drink. Sometimes matcha makes me feel very pukey, so. I feel like I usually don't eat lunch really at this time because it's four o'clock. I'd usually wait for like another hour and a half and eat dinner. But since Amber really does wake up so early and since I woke up so early today, I'm hungry now. So I'm gonna eat like a full lunch. We're having a vegan taco salad. It's kind of like a rendition of the Bi Chloe vegan taco salad. And every time Amber kind of posts stories of salads, I feel like the stories of salads are really packed salads. And this salad in particular is very packed. So I'm just gonna cut up all the stuff for the salad again. It's like, Kind of a simple salad, but it's really good. And lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, corn, avocado, crunched up tortilla chips. They're like multi-grain. The multi-grain ones from Trader Joe's. I know she goes to Trader Joe's a lot. The fake chorizo in here, the brand for this is Morningstar. It's really hard. Amber's a hard gal to read because I know what she likes and I know what she doesn't like, but food-wise, it was a little tricky because she doesn't really daily vlog like everybody else. She really makes like themed videos. So a few chances at where she's eating in her videos, kind of have to dig in and see, but, but the actual meals aside from breakfast was a little bit of a challenge. salad came out really good. I feel like <laughs> Amber would be impressed. No, I feel like she goes to like Earth Cafe a lot and all those like healthy food places. And if I were at a healthy food place, I always gear more towards the Mexican style salads because I know at least they have like so many toppings in them that I like because there's a lot of toppings that I don't like, like pickled onions are gross, pickled. No, I like beets, but there's just so many things that I really don't like. I mean, I like everything. That's a lie. But there's so many salad toppings that are kind of weird. Like, why would you put that in a salad? I feel like a lot of those healthy places do that. Like, why are there walnuts in a salad? That's just gross. And I feel like Amber would too. But this came out so good. And I'm not surprised because I styled it off of by Chloe. We don't live in LA, so we don't have like veggie grill or any of those places. To reiterate what's in this salad, it's just like, it's just regular romaine lettuce, multi-grain vegetable tortilla chips from Trader Joe's. I just crumbled them up avocado, corn, shredded cheese, the so morning star chorizo, 
cherry tomatoes, black beans, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of sour cream. I never quite see Amber eating a typical dinner, so I decided to go with a hybrid of breakfast and dessert for dinner, cause why not? So she posted this flick on her Insta story, so I went off that and made a Greek yogurt, granola, and fruit parfait with faye honey, Greek yogurt, layered on top of bananas, crushed up, off-brand cinnamon life cereal, honey, and a frozen strawberry. And if you couldn't tell already, I was watching Chopped while I made and ate this, so I was being a real actual chef with a culinary degree. Any hoosies. It was delicious, and then I ate Twizzlers after, because honestly, that's probably what Amber would do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me eat like Amber for 24 hours. And if you guys want to see more of these style videos, if any other YouTuber is a vegetarian or a vegan, I would love to try to follow a vegan diet because I do try to incorporate a lot of vegan-ish stuff into my diet because I do still eat dairy. These challenge videos are kind of fun and exhilarating and I kind of love getting into the character and like channeling someone else and just not pretending to be someone else for a day, but having like their fun aspects be a part of my everyday, which would be fun. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, if you guys want to enter to win $100 towards your Yod watch, <laughs> then the contest entry link is down below in my description. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! My friends and